Yo, what's going on, Kicks Army? I've gotten a few comments recently asking for a shading tutorial. And since the Black Cement 3s are coming out pretty soon, I figured I might as well go ahead and do this. Note I'm using Copic markers. I'm actually using the gray set, the cool gray set. So it consists of C1 through C9, and then I have the 100 black. What you're gonna see me use most of the time though is the black, C7, and C9. But to start, I'm gonna go ahead and give everything one basic layer. So if there's a spot like the upper where there's going to have a natural transition of gradient in terms of coloring, I'm going to go ahead and place the basic colors there. Like you can even see right now on the bottom of the shoe, all I have is that one gray that I went over. I'm not worried about blending it at the moment. Right now, I just want to get the base coat all around so I can get an idea for how it looks. And of course, the elephant print takes a long time. You want to be sure that you get the elephant print looking right, though. You don't want to rush it. If you rush any of this, especially when we're dealing with darker markers and it goes onto a lighter surface, it could really screw you up. It can cause a lot of problems with bleeding. So you want to make sure you take your time. I do have the stencil down for you in the description below. So go ahead and check that out as well as with the other stencils that I have. And my whole thought process throughout this entire drawing is get that first layer down and then afterward, just start from the bottom up and finish off everything. You're gonna see with this lighter gray on the upper, I just put it in the spots that I know it needs to go in. Unfortunately, that gray is running out of ink, so I couldn't exactly get it too detailed, but as long as I have the general idea for where it's gonna go, I can figure out the rest. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hug that area between the black and the C7 marker. That should fill in all those empty spaces, so that way I have a general stance for how the gradient is gonna work on the upper. Always keep in mind where the light is coming from. That will give you a good idea for how your shading should look. If the light is coming from the top, you want your shading to show that light is heading towards the upper end of the shoe as opposed to being right down in the bottom. And if you need help figuring that part out, just look at reference images. Images will tell you a lot about how a drawing should look. Even looking at the upper right now, you can kind of tell where I'm going with this, but it's going to look completely different when I actually go through and blend it. At the moment, all I care about is getting a basic coat down so that way I have a good idea for how the layers is going to go when I start going and blending everything through. And for the red, I just use a simple Sharpie. It's cheap, it works very well, the color is very vibrant. There's not a whole lot of shading I would need for the red anyway because it's such a thin part. So to try to shade that and blend that, it really wouldn't do too much of a difference. Now I'm going to go ahead and start blending out the bottom. And for areas where it's white, I use a combination of C1 and C3. C3 I use if there's an area that's a little bit darker. And then I'll use C1 to kind of give everything a little bit of a texture. But it makes a big difference as opposed to just having those spots white. If you don't have these markers, a good substitute would be to use a pencil. Be very, very light with the pencil and you can get some light shading going on. Afterward, I'll go through and I'll give that elephant print a little bit of shading so that way you can tell the difference. Next is when I'm going to start working on the upper and this is my favorite part of the shoe by far because you can see how it really starts to transform. My main method is to start with the black, you know, fill in those blacks where I know it needs it and then I slowly push out the gradient from there. I go around the blacks with the C9, then I'm going to go around the C9 with the C7 and then I go around the C7 with the C5. It's slowly pushing that color so it makes an even gradient. And keep in mind, if there's a part that doesn't look too good, go back the steps and just keep redoing it. Keep pushing the colors out until you get comfortable with it. And for me, it's much easier to get a feel for how the blending looks when I already have the bottom of the shoe done. Just so that way I have an idea for how the shoe should actually look. If you just do the blending of the shoe on the spot of the shoe that takes up the most space, but you haven't really filled around the edges, it might be a little difficult at first to get a good grasp on it. And you can see how sloppy I did mine in the beginning. I wasn't worried about making sure that everything was filled in perfectly, that it looked great. I just wanted the basic colors there so that way I knew I can go back to it and fix whatever I needed to. And even at the end of this, the blending isn't perfect, but it's definitely good enough to get the point across. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. If you guys have any more questions about this or anything else at all, leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoy this video, leave a like. If you are new, subscribe. I upload daily sneaker drawing videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.